How to do a round escape properly without injuries. Uh, very important. Uh, round house kick here. Uh, when you kick with a round kick, find your center point. I use these water bottles here. Uh, if you see the water bottles, they're exactly the height of the side of the chest. Okay? So the water bottle. So uh, I'll have imaginary water bottles that let's come, come with this. So align those, uh, the width of your armpits. They're probably too wide. Okay? So when you go around our skate here, um, if you're a beginner, uh, your first 12 months, you really should not be doing back leg round kicks, especially low. Okay, We're getting a lot of questions about uh, why my knee hurts, why does my knee burn, why is my knee clicking, why is because you're being taught improperly. Okay? Uh, the only way you can learn how to do a round house kick is from a black belt. If they're not a black belt, they should not be teaching how to do a round house kick, unless you're a round okay, so. So anyways, um, if your other belt's trying, I don't mean to make you feel bad, but if you are gonna show them, don't show them back leg round house kicks. It's too much, too chancy. So here, uh, this will be a short video. Um, hit the subscribe button if you like it, and I'll send you more, but first I wanna see if you like the video. Okay, uh, my name's uh, uh, Master Thompson. I've been uh, seventh on Taekwondo. Uh, I've been training since the 70s, but uh, uh, this is mainly, uh, I wanna show you how not to get hurt. So here, let's say we're kicking with the right foot. Okay, you should not be kicking uh, the left foot here. You should not be kicking past your foot. If you're hitting a Mu Thai bag, that's very, very common. Okay, um, this is why bags are hung very high to teach you how to kick high. You can't use the hips too much on a, on a low kick. So when you're kicking low, it's actually more degree of hurting because you're crossing over. You have to stay within your groin level here or the inside knee. So when you do a back leg kick, which you should not be doing for the first year, not in a fast exercise or martial art class, lesson, program, however, turn your foot first, whatever you do. Don't go fast and move the leg to turn the foot. That is the most Injury technique you can do. If you have rubber shoes on, don't wear rubber shoes on a rubber mat. Okay, we just got out of take one lesson, so I might be talking a little bit loud, but uh, we just finished uh, two hours take one lesson. Uh, what, what is our uh, site so they can pull up? It's Las Vegas TKD Master. That is our YouTube page, or you can follow us on Facebook at Las Vegas Mudokon Taekwondo. Okay. Our, our website is thompsontaekwondo.com. Oh, good. In this case, we have, we have a lot of aerobic ladies watching this video right now. No. Uh, hello, everybody. So here, uh, when you're kicking, don't use the back leg to torque to move this foot around. That is the worst thing you can do, especially with rubber shoes on, on a rubber mat or any surface. Uh, you want to do round kicks without shoes. This is the way martial artists don't wear shoes. So here... Don't do those. Do the one step round us kick here. Go sideways, almost has the same principle here. Put the feet together. Now you have a pivoting point that's already pivoted. Lift the knee up here. There's no reason to kick past your shoulder right here. There's no reason to swing it. Pick your knee up. Flip the leg up here. If it has no power because you're a beginner, it takes time. So come back. Here, step, lift, slap, back. The best thing to do is to kick the air before the back. Here, step, lift, kick, back. And here. I will do a fast, medium, high one. Yeah. Piss down, ha! And you come up like that here, right? Yeah. Okay, so you see the center point. Let me borrow these. Here. Yes, sir. So when you go here, okay, very good. When you're kicking here, my object is to kick the middle. Not here, not here. The middle, the center point. 
So if you're in front of a heavy bag and you're kicking like this here, put your feet in the middle of these. Step, your target is here please. Lift your knee up here. Even here is okay. Now hold, slap, and then bring back. And then come back here. Best is to be sideways because the roundhouse kick is here. This is a roundhouse kick here. Make sure your foot is firm. Don't make your feet floppy like spaghetti noodles. Firm. So to get a good workout, you go here and you step, kick, and back here. And back here. If you like back work, um, do we have the back? Let me show you. But the one we we're just getting back one. Who was my dog over there? No, we just got that one in. As you're waiting, the reason why the back leg is dangerous to do is because of the weakness on the knee. A martial artist will always bend his knee. When you learn to do aerobics for the first time, accidentally the teacher might be showing you too fast because maybe they trained a long time. So maybe they're a new teacher and just want to impress. When you're a new teacher, you want to impress to keep clients and students. But, um, so they have a big heart, very warm heart. So, but be careful. Um, if your legs are straight, this might scare you a little bit here, but if my foot is straight, it's locked out backwards, especially women. Women have hips. Uh, when you have hips, your knees tend to be um, more locked out because you have hips. Guys, we don't have hips, so we tend to use our knees more. So women, women tend to lock the knee up here. Now imagine if I kicked full power in my leg, look, look what happened. Yeah. And you rip those muscles. Yeah. And they keep going to teacher, teacher, my knee keeps hurting. And a, a new teacher might say, oh, just don't worry, it goes away. No, it will not go away. You have four rubber bands, when they snap, the other three snap, yep. and then you'll be ruined. Yep. Okay, but uh, they won't snap, don't worry, I'm just trying to scare you so you do it properly. Um, so when you do the back leg roundhouse kick, which you should not without one year, make sure, make sure that your knees are bent, bend before the bag, go slow, you'll still get the same workout. Turn, one, two, that's where everything comes from. Here, the center point is important, your belly button. Here, turn, don't pass your belly button, bring the knee up, pivot, and you'll come back like that here. Here, turn, lift. Sometimes by lifting the power, the back leg will turn a little bit. Um, figure out how much yours is turning. This is fine like this here. Ah, look at the workout you're getting on the side behind there. Here. Here. If you want to go higher, turn. Ha! And then you come back like that, right? Uh, if you have a girlfriend, well, actually, yeah, this is kickboxing is for men and women too. So I come up here. Watch, look at the power. It's going to be the same. If you're trying to burn calories and develop legs and get a strong looking behind here, um, it'll have the same principle. So uh, th this isn't a martial art. I just want to show the, uh, the fitness, the kickboxing. So here, when you do a back leg kick here, ah! you're gonna get a lot of workout everywhere. Here, twist body, hut, hut, and you'll come back here, right? If you wanna do a one step kick, uh, I was doing this one, right? Here, twist turn, see the turn? One, two, three, turn. If this turns to like a two o'clock in the afternoon from 12 to two, it's not gonna get hurt if you don't pass the groin. You bring the knee up with here force. See the knee go up here, holding the body here. Then you bring out, ha! and you come back. Now, that was from here. If you bring it to the front, Go side to side, 12 o'clock to 6 o'clock. Uh, 12 meaning here. 
here. You are step. Step. Bring the knee even if you go low, go low. Here. One, two, three. Kick out. You get great legs, lots of lines, big definition, looking good. Here. Step. One. Lift your leg up. Turn it. One, two, three. Kick out. And of course, speed equals power. Here. One. Hut. Go. Oh, you come up like that. Okay. So, uh, can you rehearse what we saw? This is the center point. This is the part you don't want to pass. Let's say this was like uh, 12 inches here. This is six inch mark in the middle. Belly button, chin. Groin, keep here. Okay? So that's the back leg. Watch how she exaggerates it slower. She'll twist and pivot. And then up. There you go. That might be a little too advanced. Oh, net. Yeah, don't do a double pivot. Net. Okay, just, just do a one pivot and do like an up kick. There you go, see? And you'll get lots of cuts in the leg. The lower abs will develop and the behind develop. Up. Boom. You see? Just like that. You don't need a partner really. Up. Okay, that's one you should not do unless you have lots of experience. This is the very, very best one. If you're teaching, uh, maybe you like my advice because you don't know me, but I'm, I'm trying my best to help you, uh, unless you already know. Um, this is the best way to teach, and you burn the same, maybe more calories because you're comfortable. Yeah. So step kick. Look at that. Then you go back. Up. Boom. And if you have that cha-cha music, right? Bam, 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 bam. One. Boom, 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 boom. Two. Boom, boom. And up. Boom, and up. Boom, and up. Boom, boom. Boom, boom. And up. Boom, boom. Oh yeah, two more, boom, 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 boom. Now do the aerobic way, just the bum, bum, bum. Bum, 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 bum. Bum, 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 bum. And two, two, three. See? Up, up, two, two. That's the aerobic way like that, right? It's great, it's great. Yeah. Calories just fly out of the body. Many people don't want to do martial arts. Yeah. But if they can do a piece of the martial art called the aerobic kickboxing, fitness kickboxing. And it's like a worldwide trend. Yes. Like, see, it made you breathe hard, right? <laughs> and you're back up yeah. because it's a constant motion. So uh, one more time, because this is a short video. Center point, okay? So I'll have imaginary. You stay there. Okay, uh, chin. Chin, belly button, tailbone. Those are the things you don't cross over. So if you're doing a back leg kick, you see how my belly button goes to the side. Now, when I twist my body, I twist and turn. My belly button goes where I want it to go. Now I lift my knee. There's a belly button right here. If I put a finger in your belly button. And now here. Now just do a slight pivot, which takes practice. Here, lift your leg up. Now don't pass the belly button. You see, it's very clean. Yeah. Now if you do the one step, you'll probably be twice as fast. Belly button on the side. Belly button straight. Make your marker. Don't pass your hands. Step, lift, out, and back. Step, lift, out, and back. Step, lift, out and back. Kill. And you can increase speed, uh, same speed, however, right? Yeah. Okay, so uh, this is my very first fitness kickboxing how to do the round kick. Yes, sir. Or what was my big title I came up with? How not to hurt your knees. Yes. Oh. Yeah, I thought I came up with uh, another one. There's another one. <laughs> oh, now I forgot. How to. How to. Not kick foolish. Uh, sorry for using a big word like that, but it gets your attention. How not to do a round kick foolishly. Okay, if you follow these instructions, I hope you have a great future on developing your body. Um, if you want more video, I just want to see if you like this, and I will make you a great video next week. Okay? Okay. Uh, thank you for meeting you for the first time. Quite. Quite.
Oh, you can edit it.